need to do a video response to your plastic surgery video. You're kind of flip-flopping between two different views on what you think about plastic surgery. Why would you love the original? And then in the same exact um, scenario, encourage to change the thing that you love. If I'm going to be in a relationship with someone or, and marry them, possibly, if they're the right person, I'm not marrying her for her breasts. I'm marrying her because of her personality. I love her for who she is, not because because of body part. When you say that I should have to respect my wife or girlfriend's plea to have her breasts done, and then and that I have to give in. No, I don't have to give in. Like I said, I'm marrying her because of her personality. I want the original her, not a inflated um, persona that she wants to carry on within herself. When it comes to self-esteem or self-assurance, a girl has to have her head checked because if she has poor self-esteem to the point where she feels she needs to inflate herself, there's something wrong within her head. There's something wrong within her mind. You can't come up with insecurities to, to, um, out of the thin air. When someone is so insecure to want themselves inflated, that means that the business they're in is the one who wants them that way. Or the audience of the business they're in wants them that way. Not because the person knows something's wrong with them. To tell you the truth, I have a bump on, on the top part of my nose, and I'm fine. And it's not because I have self -esteem, I have good self-esteem. It's the original me. I mean, quite frankly, if you take a politician and put him in garments, he still will always be an asshole. Now... I don't want people taking that out of the context and saying, oh, well, if you say that, then you must be saying that models are assholes. I'm not saying models are assholes. I'm, sp I'm basically and plainly saying that if someone feels the need to inflate themselves, there's something encouraging them to do it, not the fact they have poor self-esteem. If there is poor self-esteem, then this something wrong within something that they're doing. Like I said, I have a bump on my nose. I'm happy because it's the real me. I'm not going to sit there and get a nose job because, oh, I want everyone to think I'm beautiful. That's not, that's not the case. If you took me, for example, or someone else like me, it doesn't even have to be me personally. It could be someone else that you meet on the street. Their personality can be 50 times better. If they, their good personality, they can treat you well, could be 50 times better than that gorgeous fake nose. A girl's gentle personality can be 50 times better than a girl who has... 36 double D breasts, while the other girl is average. It doesn't take the inflatedness to build someone's self-esteem. It takes the surroundings to make the self-esteem. If you are, like, when I was younger, yes, I do totally admit, my self-esteem was a little low because I had very, very crooked teeth. The only way I would ever condone any kind of cosmetic surgery is either with um, eye surgery, um, eye, uh, like either for cataracts, or um, what's the other thing? Having surgery to get rid of the extra skin in your eyelids, as dumb as that might sound to people, because 
I know someone who, who, who went through eyelid surgery, a plastic surgeon, so she could get the excess flab off of her eyelids because she couldn't see very well. But she did it to be healthy. Inflating yourself, I'm not saying that inflating yourself makes you less of a person. I'm saying that inflating yourself doesn't give you more self-esteem. It gives you the, the promotion to where you want to go. Like I said, if you have such little self-esteem that you need to inflate yourself, it's usually coming from somewhere negative, not a realistic re place from reality. Now, I'm not saying this to, to be disrespectful to you, Carrie. I'm basically saying that the way you discussed the whole scenario between I love the original, but I encourage you to get the inflation. It's kind of like saying Obama's going to be giving a, a, a presidential libertarian Republican speech tonight. He's going to be talking about how he wants to raise taxes in order to make it livable for the taxpayers. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not quite making it legit. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm not saying you're an idiot. I'm saying you're not making the discussion legit. 